Hi all, in this video I am just going to explain about the radio button, how to select that if you have multiple radio buttons. So just think that is the requirement. So I am in login button, I mean sign up for monster with email. So just I am going to use this URL now. Uh, so copying this and just pasting it here. So here, if it's, it's a good example. See, this email me career related monster updates and job opportunities. This yes, okay, but I want to select no. So what you will do, it's, this is already selected. Just I'm going to verify this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to save this all radio buttons in, I mean, radio buttons in uh, these two radio buttons in single name with the use help of name. So I'm going to just inspect this element now. I'm going to where it is actually. Inspect element. I'm going to train. I'm mean, trying to take this name of this. Yes, this is the name. Yeah, I got this name because both this yes or no will be same. Okay, same. Uh, see, the same name name is there. So I'm just going to involve this. I'm going to get this by name. So I'm listing this now. So now I'm going to just print this, okay? Um, print Helen chat list radio button. I'm just saving like an array. I am putting all the using find elements by name. I'm just putting all this in all the elements, web elements in the list option, list array. So here you can see now, control F9, it will print automatically. See, it printed on. See, uh, in the buyer file, I mean, browser name is Firefox and the window. And you can see the two both names are same because always it will be same. So now, if first one, yes, I want to select no. I'm going to select no now. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just setting this boolean first of all. I'll select it. Okay. Now, boolean. Um, Verify true or false, right? So list radio button true or false. So this is a boolean, and I'm going to set this as false. So okay, then now I'm going to put this, I mean, element into the variable. I'm gonna verify this. So. list radio button true or false equal to I'm going to verify this so this is radio button dot is um, this radio button right so dot get get option I'm going to choose because it saved it's a zero or one two like that so always it starts with zero so I'm going to choose the zero and here is your we have a option why, why I'm getting it let's do this with I'm gonna check this condition now if okay this list radio button true or false equal to true so I'm gonna actually I, I should click the no right so I'm gonna click this list radio button chart get index one. It's good now. Else, it should be same or you can either I mean select um, here. You can choose this simple. That's it. I think I'm gonna run now. You can see it's already selected this radio button in monster job. So I selected this now. So
we can see this element now. Fine. I close it. Ready. So open until the element is waiting. I think some mistakes I have done here. Yeah. <laughs> See here, I need to mention this click right, so I did a mistake. I think I need to add a add cast, yeah, web element. So it's good now. The same way I need to add for this too. I need to mention this same. So uh, I think for this it's a zero, right? Sorry. Well, it's, it's zero, no, it's zero. It should be one chat click, I guess. Okay, it's fine now. So, zero. Okay, control F, man. Now you can see the best answer now. See, it's changed now. It's perfect now. It's already selected this now. Okay, that's it. Uh, this video is very helpful with the better example for this uh, video button selection. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video with more information. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please provide your comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Please subscribe my channel as well.